Let's go across to Russia now. It's unlike anything you've heard of the recent development. A Russian senator says Pakistan and Ukraine have created a nuclear axis. That they are discussing technologies for nuclear weapons. Is there any basis to this charge? Let's try and find out. First things first, who has leveled this accusation? Senator Igor Morozov, an ex-FSB colonel and a member of the Russian Federation Council's Defense Committee. He is an expert in international economic relations and has authored several scientific papers. Morozov says that Ukrainian specialists recently traveled to Islamabad. What for? To discuss technologies for creating nuclear weapons. The timing of this charge is crucial. This comes barely days after Russia alleged that Kiev is preparing a radioactive dirty bomb, one that it could deploy in the battlefield against Russia. And now a top Russian defense official saying that Pakistan is helping Ukraine develop a nuclear weapon. How do we perceive this? Is there any basis to this claim? Last we checked, the Russian senator in question did not provide any convincing evidence. But as they say, there is no smoke without fire. So Russia's claims may not entirely be baseless. And I don't say this without reason. Have a look at this report. It's from the 7th of October. It claimed that the US and NATO allies are not the only ones sending weapons to Ukraine. Pakistan has also become a crucial supplier with the help of the British Air Force. It further added that Pakistan's army chief, General Kamar Javid Bajwa, recently traveled to the United Kingdom for discussions regarding this. So which weapons did Pakistan send to Ukraine? According to the report, British aircraft transported Howitzer D-30 munitions made by Pakistan Ordnance Factories. In fact, back in August, a video had gone viral. It showed Pakistani projectiles being unpacked in Ukraine. We cannot vouch for the authenticity of the video, but it was shared and reshared by several observers of the Ukraine war. So reports of Ukraine and Pakistan discussing nukes may not entirely be untrue. According to reports, armed dealers based in Islamabad have reportedly been in touch with a defense group based in Bulgaria in order to ensure third party supply of weapons to the Ukrainian government. And in a similar development, a Ukrainian company based in Kiev had apparently contacted a cargo firm in Pakistan to secure the supply of gloves for the Ukrainian army. Has Islamabad said anything about this? Yes, it has. It has called the Russian senator's charges unfounded and baseless. The country's foreign office spokesperson has also sought an official explanation from Russia for the same. This is what he said in a detailed statement. Let me quote here. We are surprised by such an unfounded and baseless statement. It is without any rationale and is entirely inconsistent with the spirit of Pakistan-Russia relations. We are seeking clarification on this from Moscow. Now, remember, ever since Imran Khan was ousted from power, Pakistan has maintained a delicate balance on the Russia-Ukraine war. It has not explicitly condemned the Russian invasion, nor has it taken sides with Ukraine. But such statements by Russian senators, such reports of Pakistan helping Kiev, only prove that Russia has sensed its bluff. And it will not hesitate in calling it out. This story is still developing and we will be keeping a close watch. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.